See, I only like peanut butter by itself. I completely disagree with you. I think peanut butter well, belongs everywhere. Then I'm not sure how much longer we can have this <laughs> conversation. So what does yeet mean to Jey Uso? Oh, uh, yeet means yes, no, maybe. Who should want to get some food? Yeet. You want to go work out? Yeet. You know what I'm saying? Did you like that movie? Yeet. Finally, we have returned to our home studio. I am so excited to be with you for another edition of the Jackie Redman Show. Thank you for joining us. We're going to dive right in because we got guests on guests on guests today, including the always lovely Miss Kat Toffoli. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. We appreciate you making the time. Uh, we are right here in Manhattan. How are you liking being in the uh, greater New York area? I love it. We are in Jersey City, so it took me about 20 minutes to get here today. Nice. which is something that I feel like I didn't know coming here to Jersey so it's been like really cool to explore listen Jersey doesn't get the reputation it deserves I love Jersey but coming in I like you when I moved here had no idea but it's amazing especially Jersey City Hoboken you're close you're like close enough to the city that it's easy to, to dip your toe when you want to oh, yeah. but when you don't want to you can like escape it as well all right so we recently had the back-to-back -back stadium series games and you did a bts behind the scenes vlog which i absolutely adored how did that come together and what was the experience of being a influencer vlogger um for a couple of days um it was really fun so ty did a piece with the players tribune a few years ago when he was on montreal right during the stanley cup run so we had a relationship with them and they reached out knowing that I'm not too shy um, <laughs> and I'm, I'm not scared to ask guys questions. So they gave me a camcorder. And um, to be honest, the first day at the family skate, it was pretty intimidating because right. I looked like the mom from Mean Girls, you know, with like a camera just sticking it in people's faces. But then the next day I got more into it. It was so much fun. So like the adrenaline kicked in. Yeah. We had a good time. I love that you didn't shoot it on your cell phone too. Like I loved that you had a, a camcorder. It gave it kind of like an old school vibe to it a little bit. Oh yeah. No, I was like fully skating around holding the yeah. camcorder. <laughs> Which, is, <laughs> Which honestly, impressive. Yeah. Um, so did you like give the team a warning at all? Like what, what did you tell them about what was happening? Um, so when they first called me, we were on vacation with a few of the guys for okay. bye week. So I told some of them and they were actually like the more like outgoing guys to be right. honest. Um, but still, even so, going to that skate with a camera shoving it in people's faces at first was, you know. Yeah, well, it's know, a bit uh, daunting. Yeah, um, so after that skate, that's when I gave more of a heads up to people. And okay. I was like, all right guys, tomorrow I'm committing and sorry. Tomorrow's A game, yeah. like we gotta get the good content <laughs> yep. um, tomorrow. Now that you've done it yep. and you've seen the finished product, what was your favorite part of the vlog like what what stood out to you is kind of like your favorite moments um favorite moments was like i wish you could tell how much fun we were having it was one of the most fun games i've been to of wow life. and and honestly the girls every it was almost like everyone was just like cheering the entire time from start to finish like, yeah the vibes you know I mean? were like, the vibes was, were high yeah it was it was a really good time so that was that was my favorite part and you know like Ty's parents got to come and they were all excited to be there. Yeah. I had a friend from college. It was just, a, it was a fun little day. Should we expect more vlogs from you in the future um, or is this a one-time thing? I what do you do think? I would do it again. I'm comfortable now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> like you've, you've now, you've got the first one out of the way. I've got, yeah. You'd be a little bit, you're more ideas, of a vet now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love that. Well, listen, in researching for this interview, I did hear that you are no stranger to big games and you have a group of friends that goes to the Super Bowl every year. Is this right? Yeah. How, like the Super Bowl, it's the Super Bowl. Like yeah. that is a tough ticket. How is it that you've managed to go to not just one Super Bowl, but a few? It's a group of my very close friends in LA that are all in like sports and entertainment. I worked for the Dodgers for 10 years, so I was always kind of in that world. We've made it kind of a tradition. It's been a good time. We went to the Miami one. Um, and LA and then this last one in Vegas so so what did you make of this year's game this is quite a game at the it end it was amazing I'm not gonna lie it's so funny I had so many friends texting me being like is it absolute mayhem in there like yeah it's, it's Vegas it's gotta be crazy and it was like 
quite enjoyable and tame. And really? Yeah. For, for like a Vegas atmosphere. Yeah. Like it was like, the music wasn't too loud. Like it was like, it was easy to watch the game. And okay. It was a great game. So we had, we had like the best time there too. Okay. So you have the stadium series atmosphere and the Super Bowl atmosphere of this year. How would you compare the two? The difference was being there in person, the Super Bowl being like tame, whatever. Yep. And then the outdoor game being hockey fans and it was nighttime yeah. and it was freezing, which kind of bonds you. And it was just a good time. Everyone was so invested. Well, the yeah. other thing that happened at both the stadium series and the Super Bowl was the musical performances. Oh, yeah. So Usher yep. for one, Jonas Brothers for the other. Yep. Which performance did you enjoy more? Were they equal? How um, was it? It's funny. Cause Are you a Jonas Brothers girly or? I'm more of a Usher girly. I feel okay. Like my, my Me too. My genre. It's funny. I brought a backup outfit for this and I didn't realize it was the shorts I was wearing in the game and I had the Usher like uh, money that oh, came out yeah. in, my, <laughs> in my shorts. Um, amazing. Really, yeah, at the end. Cause that was a left, souvenir. He made it rain. Um, Usher was amazing. It was one of those things where you didn't know what to expect, and then it came on, and everyone got up and was just freaking out. Yeah. Same with Jonas Brothers. Like, every every song, you know. Everyone was into it. And that's, yeah. like, that's the key to a good outdoor game performance. It yep. has to be someone that's got, like, a good catalog of hits, Everything. which Usher obviously does. Yeah, and Joe Bars. And they actually met us before the game, which was, which what? was really nice. What? You met them? them? Yeah, they were. OK, yeah. how was that? Um, it was good. The girls, uh, there's actually a girl from Jersey. Um, OK. And she was very, she's very excited. She grew up. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> shout out to Nicole. Happy for her. Yeah. Happy for, <laughs> happy for Nicole yep. meeting the Jonas Brothers. Yep. I, I work with a girl at NHL Network that is like a diehard Jonas Brothers fan. Oh, yeah, so yeah. She, was, she was quite jealous um, that she couldn't be there. So I heard a rumor that you are a bit superstitious with games. I constantly in interviews, especially when I first started out, would always try to get hockey players to tell me their superstitions and they just like don't like talking about it. Yep. Are you that way or are you open no, to it? Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. So game day for Kat to Foley, what are your non-negotiables? Oh, well that's different. That's okay. That's been different on every team almost. Okay. Yeah. So on, honestly, it kind of started when I worked for the Dodgers and Ty okay. played for the Kings. And um, so their playoffs, the Kings would be around opening day for Dodgers. Okay. And the Dodger playoffs would be like opening day for Kings. So I would kind of bounce between the games. Right. Like, and change my location. So that was kind of my superstition there. Montreal, I wouldn't watch the games because he, he would only do well and the team would only do well when I didn't watch. So you didn't watch them at all? No, but I when they finally let us go to games during okay. like the Stanley Cup run, I would sit there because I didn't want to not go, but I'd just be on my phone the whole time, like looking at like Housewives drama and stuff. <laughs> like, wait, yeah, like, wait, 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 wait. So wait, I'm wait. there, but I'm not watching. Hang on a second. Yeah. So your husband <laughs> is on this epic, unexpected Cinderella run with mm -hmm. the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah. And you are at the games, mm -hmm. but like afraid to look up. Yeah. Yeah, so I was just like looking at like, you know, my like news, whatever. So if you scored a goal, like what would happen when a goal was scored? I mean, I would jump up and freak out. And, right. You know. But then as soon as it was I'm, live play, yeah, you're back on the no, phone. No. Well, listen, obviously, I mean, they went to the final. Yeah. So obviously your superstition, you couldn't, after the first round, change it. No. And then here, um, honestly, it changes here. It kind of just depends. Like it's a lot of like switching my location. Okay. Yeah. And does he have superstitions? He does, but he doesn't really talk about them. And so you're not obviously going to let the cat out of the bag. No, but I will say, like. That was, pun was not intended, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but honestly, when he's, like, doing well or the team is doing well, like, maybe I won't wash a pair of socks of his. Okay. Without telling him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm picking up what you're throwing down. I got you. Sounds gross, but you get it if you're superstitious. Yes, a hundred percent. I mean, I like I'm a superstitious fan, yep. and and I was growing up. Yep. And like that is more ridiculous to me. Like if you're if you're playing in the game or you're close to someone playing in the game, it makes way more sense than me being at home. Like every time I sit in this chair, they lose. I I can't sit in this chair. Like oh, yeah. I have no impact on no, the game. No, no. But you know what? It feels good too. So. It's, it is fun though. Yeah. Like superstitions are fun. I, I don't know why people hide them so much. No. I think athletes need to be more open about their their rituals. Yeah. Um, all right. So I feel like 2024 is kind of the year of the wag because Taylor Swift is a wag, and she has 
obviously taken center stage in the football world. So I have a couple questions about WAG life if you're open to it. Yeah. Okay. So first things first. So Taylor Swift is obviously, I would think, an exception to a rule. She's like immediately in the group chat if yeah. she is dating Travis Girls Kelsey, are really right? excited for her to get out. But uh, yeah. yeah, like, like, like <laughs> yeah. they're actually asking her if yeah, they yeah. could be mm -hmm. in her group chat. Mm -hmm. But in, in a normal situation, if you know, you've got a team dynamic, you've got wives and, and serious girlfriends and everything going on, but then say, you know, a single player starts dating someone, like how does how does a new girl get into the into the group chat? How does that go? Um, or is it just immediate and whatever? Honestly, it kind of depends. Like sometimes girls like don't live here. Right. So it wouldn't really make sense because it's a lot of like making like local plans or game planning plans. parties yeah, and parties. all that. Um, so it, I think it really depends on if the girls live here. And right. If the guys are comfortable. Sometimes, okay. Sometimes, you know, the guys are more private. Like, yeah, you sure. Know, um, so they might not, you know, want them buying a, a jacket with a huge number on it and wearing it to a game like we don't get to a certain point yeah. in your relationship I'm sure yeah like Taylor Swift like straight out came out with an 87 you know what yeah I mean? so like I it depends on what you're comfortable with honestly fair enough so. well every team is a captain is there like a queen wag <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no um, See, I don't know if these questions are dumb or not, but I know that the people want to know. Um, no. Well, normally, like, if there's a captain with their wife, normally right. she kind of, like, will be, like, the one that She'll, like, lead of, the charge or Yeah, whatever. or, like, add people to chats or, you know, like, um, host things, I guess. Okay. That sounds really funny. Um, <laughs> but, no, there's not. And, honestly... This group of girls and at the Devils, I've, I've never met a group of girls that isn't awesome. Like, yeah. it's just, you know, it's like, it's a fun, it's a fun sorority, I guess. It really, it <laughs> seems like it. Yeah. I mean, there, you guys get to do like themed nights mm -hmm. and it kind of becomes really a sisterhood, it looks like, especially for people that are away from home. I imagine that that is comforting because there's a transition when you join a new team or you leave a team and then you join another one where that the player goes through on the ice, but there's a whole life transition happening behind the scenes. Yeah, um, it is interesting. I mean, especially during like the lockdown year where like a lot of girls couldn't even meet each other and you're kind of just on your own, you know? Okay. Like that was, um, it's, yeah, it's, it's a transition, I guess. Um, that bachelorette I'm going on tomorrow is actually my girlfriend Emily and we got super close in Montreal during lockdown. Okay. Because we weren't allowed to do anything for yeah a really long time so we would just take distanced walks and yeah you know and we just became, hot girl walks together yeah, i mean just far yeah. away walks. six feet apart yeah and and honestly she's one of my dearest friends now because we just were going through that together so so you you've been on a couple of teams you yeah. and tyler right so i'm gonna ask you for like i'm just gonna i'll just sort out there and you tell me which team fits this description best okay and if you don't want to answer, you can just say, sorry, Jackie. Play the pass. best. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so of the teams that you have been a part of, like the, the WAGs, which team threw the most like hardcore themed parties? Um, probably LA. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, that feels like an LA thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> LA, let's go with LA. Okay, which WAG group were the biggest partiers? That's t Calgary. Okay. I was well, say, actually, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, too. I was gonna say that's tough because you know, like the COVID years, you couldn't yeah. really like gauge that. But then, like we were there when it was open. So okay, yeah. which WAG group um, had the best fashion sense? So funny. Um, <laughs> honestly, this one. The Jersey. Yeah. The girls have some fashion. Yeah. Hey? They're, they're okay. Got, like a New York thing going. Oh, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Which I'm a both. California girl, so I don't have that going for me, but like. <laughs> Wait, like, what's the difference? I just, in it's LA, like you beach. wear athleisure and beach, you know, like yeah. you're like beach vibes. Like if you told me to wear what I would normally wear here, I'd wear like jean shorts and like a hoodie. Like, okay. Right now, but. Um, very Laguna. Yeah, I love yeah. it. But here, um, <laughs> here, yeah, they, they all look very put together city. Okay, yeah, like they're close, more closer to high fashion. Yeah. Right? Um, which WAG group as a whole was the most superstitious? Montreal. Montreal, oh, actually, wow, those are all very <laughs> uh, appropriate fitting answers to those questions. Yeah. So I'm not surprised by any of them. Mm -hmm. I'm glad every city is kind of living up to their their reputation. Montreal, um, during that Stanley Cup run, we, if they lost, we wouldn't wear the same jacket or outfit or whatever. 
Wow, so yeah. you would have to go into like, okay, what are we, how are we switching this up? Yeah, yeah, we'd, we'd give you suggestions had... to each other. <laughs> just be like, hey, you know how we lost the other day? We're gonna have to that, change yeah. that up. <laughs> okay, last one. Um, favorite game day fit you've ever had? Or game day like playoff jacket? Okay, I'm going back to Montreal. Um, we had these like really cool starter jackets. Ooh, I yeah, like that. Yeah, they were like super old school. We put, yeah. like, it was just, really comfortable and really cute and we all look like little Olympians. <laughs> <laughs> it just was like, it was no pressure, cute, yeah. fun. Simple. Yeah, simple and, and Class great. Classic. Yeah, very classic because that team, everything's very classic, like old school, so it was, it was nice. All right, I yeah. have to look it up. Uh, listen, we appreciate you coming in. Have fun on your bachelorette trip. Thank you. Um, Bahamas, right? Yes. Amazing. Have the best time. Thank we you. appreciate you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying this city. And stop by any time. Yeah. Might have to make get you in here regularly. Very close. <laughs> Quite nice. <laughs> All right, so we go from talking about game day fits with Kat Toffoli to talking to main event Jay Uso, who's got a new merch line he's very excited about, but a very serious feud going with his brother Jimmy and the rest of his family in the bloodline. Let's check out the interview. All right, I am very excited to introduce a segment that we are calling Jay Uso Knows Hockey. Or does he? Welcome to the show, Jay Uso. Jackie O, thanks for having your boy in the building. Finally, man, I've been calling, texting you the whole time. You ain't never get back at me, but we here now. Listen, I didn't want to out you for personally requesting to be on this show, but that is how it happened. So we appreciate Jay Uso to the max for coming on this show and uh, showing some love to hockey. And we're gonna talk a little bit of WWE too, so if you're tuning in from the WWE universe, we will get there. But before we do, are you keeping those shades on for the whole thing? Oh, or? no, actually, see, I was about to give these to you, Jackie. You know oh, what I'm saying? These wow. are yours, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm going to let you hold these, like, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, you can have those. You oh, can wow. Have those. Okay. And guess what? I got a uh, yeet shirt with my girl, Jackie Yo. You know what I'm saying, Ooze, because that's how we get down. Ooze, <laughs> oh, Jackie. You going to sign it for me? Can uh, we get a signature? I'm going to sign it. I'm going to sign it got ASAP. Who's got a pen? Who's got a pen? Someone's got a marker. Oh, wow. Okay. Someone's got a pen. He came prepared. <laughs> Cause the camera guy handed to, handed it to us Shh. earlier, dude. I'm trying to make you look good, oh, dude. Man, man. Oh wow, real God, signature. Hey, real I mean, it's authentic now. Wow. It's authentic, guys. I promise I won't sell it. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Bang, I'm gonna just throw this back here, right here. I'm just, all right, that's we'll get I'll, it. I'll grab that later. We'll but get it. Uh, all right, Jay Uso on the show. If you haven't figured it out, he's got pretty cool merch. So check it out on the WWE shop. I'm gonna maybe I'll do this. I don't know. Jeez. I don't know. Jeez. Anyways, uh, all right, let's talk some hockey because I don't know how much you actually know about hockey. So what, what do you know about hockey, Jay Uso? What is your Im impression of hockey? Oh. Uh. I know it's a real physical sport, for sure. I mean, I look at it like football on ice, right? Uh, okay. I mean, other than Natos, it was my favorite <laughs> uh, Sega Genesis game growing up. I think it was like Sega? Hockey, hockey 96. I mean, you might, I might be a little too old. Maybe NHL, NHL 94, but I don't think that was I, on Sega. I think it was. It so was, you've played some shell? Yes, I have played some shell. Come on now, have gloves Have you already off. called that before? You can say no, no. it's okay. Put me on the spot. <laughs> I'm gonna put you on the spot even more okay. coming up. But were you good at the video game? Hell yeah, I was good, girl. Was... The who game. Did you, who did you play? As? Uh, you San remember? Jose Sharks, because we in San Jose right now. Okay, okay. Did Yeet. You, did you have a favorite player back in those days? Oh, uh, even I mean, just based I mean, on the video game. But besides Gretzky, Yeet. Man, these uh, are all easy. These are all like common answers, probably. That. Sorry. Yeah, but they're not common because they're coming from you. So Yeet. people might not know this about you, right? Yeah, man. Come on, man. Come I think on, man. we need to get. Have you have you guys had an NHL like up up down down tournament or whatever? That's the that's the gaming channel, I right? Would, I would definitely get back on some hockey games for sure. We need to do that. We straight away. And then you can prove if you actually have the skill or not. Uh, yeet. Have you ever been to an NHL game? Never been to an NHL game. What? You got to go to an NHL game, my guy. You gonna take? Me? Yeah, I'll do. Listen, we can. Can we bring cameras? Yeah, <laughs> He's like, I don't think nah, so. Nah, for real though, I would love to go to an NHL game. Like, I heard You've that. never seen it live? Never. It's almost oh my like us, gosh. right? We, you gotta go there live to like experience the full. Yeah. So I want to. I think WWE and NHL have that in common because I always tell people that ask me about hockey, you have to go to a live game to really appreciate how fast it is, how physical mm. it is, and just like, Sounds. it's a very adrenaline rush type experience. Y'all got good food and stuff? Well, we got, we got normal concessions of what you would expect. Not sure. 
What you get at a football game, you can get at a hockey game. What, nah. what do you get? What does Jey Uso I'm, get at a sporting I'm a event? Nacho guy, man. Um, have you ever skated before? Oh uh, yes, I can skate. You can skate, Hell or yeah, you've skate. skated. Jackie, you can you know, skate. I'm a damn athlete out there, girl. Well, listen, I know you're an athlete, but not everyone has been on skates. Man, I can skate, Lewis. I can do the rollerblade, not not the four though. I can't do that. The four. Oh, yeah, I see. You're talking about the rollerblades that are four wheels in yeah. a row, not that not the double stack. Like a car. Hand-eye coordination, just in any sport is hard, right? Like the best and the best sure. have that. But yes. to do it on skates is like a whole other element. Probably 10 element, times harder. Yes, because right? now, now your top and your bottom's got to coordinate together. I don't <laughs> even know what I'm doing right now. Can you shoot a puck on I'm over skates? Here flo I'm over here floating. Shoot a puck. I hope that's not how you skate, by the way. <laughs> I'm going backwards right here. Oh, um, wow, nah. you can back. Can you do a crossover? Yeah. A backwards crossover? Yeah. I Listen, I've never seen this footage before, so. When's the last time you skated? Probably when I was like 10, to be honest. Okay, so it's been a minute. But it's like swimming, Oos, right? You know, <laughs> just get in there. Is you that know? the phrase? Is it get it's in like there, swimming, yeah, isn't it? Know. It's like riding a it's bike. It's probably totally, that's what I meant. Right. Okay, let me put you on the spot here Again. a little bit. Can you name three NHL hockey teams? Well, I just You did. got San Jose. San Jose Sharks. Yeah. Oh. Uh, wait, we need the cities too? <laughs> <laughs> the city I can't read that the, cameraman the, like over there, man. The cities should be the Man, I was about to say the Blackhawks. Okay, we'll take it. Except oh, uh, the Vegas, oh, uh, what's her name? Las Vegas, oh. Uh. Huh? Golden Knights. Golden Knights, I was but about you to know say. What? You, Golden Knights. You knew Vegas had a team, so we'll accept that answer. What about Yeet. three hockey players? You already said Gretzky, so we'll put him on the board for you. Everyone should get that one. Man. I ain't gonna lie, sis. I mean, y'all, you, <laughs> you put me on the spot again. You know what I appreciate about you doing this interview is that you don't have to be the biggest fan to get into the sport. We want more people to get into the sport. So the fact that you can respect the sport, that you actually want to go to a game, and you wanted to be on a show that's about hockey, to me, that's a win. I'm in there. People are gonna love that. So we're gonna play a game with you, though. Let's go. And I think you'll be better at this game because you are the Yeet Master, right? Yeet is a yeet. slang term, right? So what does yeet mean to Jey Uso? Uh, yeet means yes, no, maybe. Ooh, she want to go get some food? Yeet. You want to go work out? Yeet. You know what I'm saying? Did you like that movie? Yeet. But it's uh, a term of excitement in some ways, right? Yeet, it is. Right? It so is. it can be many things. Many things. It's a versatile. Positive. Slang term. For you, it's positive. For, say, your brother, it's a little more of a negative connotation. No yeet. All right, let's play a game then. I'm gonna give you hockey slang terms. You tell me what you think it means. I'll tell you what it actually means. And then I want you to rate the term. So you can say it's yeet or no yeet. If you like the slang, it's yeet. yeet. If you don't like the term, it's no, no yeet. yeet. Okay, you ready? <laughs> yes. Okay, first hockey slang term is toe drag. Toe drag, say what I mean? Say what you think it means. Oh, when they uh, when they uh, putting the when he probably cutting on the ice and his toe <laughs> dragged through the ice, and that the ice fly up. The ice. Toe drag. <laughs> well, I, you're describing what happens when someone stops on skates, where the snow sprays up. Okay, okay, toe drag. A little uh, bit of a different thing. Okay, toe drag. Uh, but a toe drag is like it's like a sick move where you like drag the toe of your blade of the of the stick blade and you dangle around somebody, or you, you stick handle we, around we, somebody. Are talking about the stick or the, or the skate? It can be both. Mm. It can be both. Hell yeah, yeet. But there's like the toe of the stick and the toe of the... Toe drag. It's a toe drag. Yeet. So if someone does a toe drag, it means that they like had a sick move. Word. Okay? That makes sense. Okay, so we're giving that a... Yeet. 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 The okay. name is dope. Next one. Clapper. Uh, clapper. To me, I feel like it's uh, all right. I could be off right here. I mean, I seen it on uh, Mighty Ducks one time. You know, he was he was he was he was uh, clapping the puck up like that. I said, "Bow!" and then you know, hit it into the net. Scored. Is that a clapper? Or You're not? close. You're close. A clapper is a slap shot. So the Yeet. puck is on the ice. It's a hard slap shot. We call it a clapper. Clapper. It's still a shot though. I was 50-50. You were very close. Were you thinking about the knuckle puck? The Mighty Ducks, right? Listen, I know my stuff. Come on. Knuckle puck. I'm not new here. Big yeet. To knuckle puck. Knuckle puck. Big yeet. Biggest yeet so far. To clapper, too. Okay, okay. Lettuce. 
Let us. Let us go out there and win this game tonight, boys. <laughs> uh, let us. Okay. That should be a t-shirt. Right? Yeah. Oh, uh, damn. Let us. It's a harder know, one. Like a penalty uh, hit something? No. So lettuce is a term used to describe someone's hair. In hockey? Yeah. Now, the term I prefer is flow. If you have flow, you have good I mean, hair, it's I mean, long, clearly. it's flowing out of your helmet. Flow is the better hair term. I personally hate the slang lettuce. I think it's ridiculous. I don't see how lettuce uh, goes with the, uh, yeah. with the hair, so I'm gonna give that a no yeet oose. I'm with you on that one. No yeet to lettuce. Okay, here's one. Face wash. It's easy. <laughs> after you get in the penalty box, after y'all after after did something y'all wasn't supposed to do, you go out there, <laughs> give me some of that water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you think someone's like trying to cool wash off. Your, I mean, it is hot and sweaty in there, so yeah. Okay, that's an ant eh, wrong. Big no yeet. Big no yeet, that's not what it is. So face wash in hockey is if like, if you're like mad, like say you saw like, I don't know, like Jimmy out there or something and you were mad, right? Like Jimmy interfered in your match recently, right? You're mad, you really wanted to disrespect him. You got your hockey glove on, you go like this right in his face. Oh, you just thing rub, you too? just, oh yeah. Sweaty, gross mess, face wash. Damn, that's hard, that's cold, that's messed up. Don't ever yeah. face wash me, y'all. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I'd, st I'd still say yeet to that though. I want to see you face face wash someone in WWE. Do you need gloves or can I use like use my socks hands. or something? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. Too far. Too far. Too far. Okay. A grocery stick. All right, now that just sounds. Can I say this? What I really think out yes. loud or? Yeah. Well, I want what you really think, regardless. Grocery stick. All right. Here. Here's what I'm. A, here's what I think about it in hockey. You, uh, 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 you, you put your stick loose through your equipment, right? And you carry it, huh? Like it's a bag, huh? <laughs> huh? You right? mean like you're going to the arena? You put your stick through you the it? handles of your bag. Yeah. Now you turn it into a grocery carry... bag, Ooze. You know what? I've never <laughs> thought of that before. <laughs> Hell no. It makes sense. It makes sense, right? You turn it into a grocery bag, Ooze. Okay, that's not what it is. But I like I like the creativity. You're getting creativity points. Big yeet. So the the actual definition of a grocery stick in hockey is a player that rides the bench. So that's like a bench rider because, like a grocery stick, they separate the forwards and the D, and they oh, never move. Oh, the damn grocery <laughs> stick! Man, big yeet. That's messed up. So Man, it's you're an gonna insult. Call, so you're gonna call the homie a grocery stick? Yeah, it's a, like a, an insult for sure. It's a chirp. Do you know what a chirp is? Yeah, next hill. What? What did he just say? <laughs> next hill. I don't understand what's next happening. Next hill, you remember next hill? Yo, where you at, Ooze? Chirp. I don't know what you're talking about. Right, One more time? <laughs> <laughs> Chirp. Man, Luis, you old enough, man, you know. I Listen, I've never felt younger than in this moment. Um, a chirp in hockey is an insult. Damn. So if I, if yes. you if you were like yo, you're a grocery stick, you're insulting that person. Grocery stick. He's like yo, you're a pylon, Man, bro. You a chirp, bro. No, no, you don't call someone a chirp. Man, the chirp a... is the action. So if you're like Jackie, you're Man, a stop. loser. I'd be like Jay, why are you chirping me like I, that? I was just about to say it. Stop chirping me. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Damn, now you got stick. it. Grocery stick. Get your grocery <laughs> stick head. <laughs> I'm not a grocery stick. Uh, I'm an impactful player. Jimmy's a grocery stick. Ooh, chirps flying. You know? Let's do Selly. Selly, that's easy. Like you get you get hit, you get hit, you get hit uh, on the ice oops, you know, when they check you. In WWE, your definition makes a lot of sense. Selly. However, a Selly in hockey is, well, in, in a lot of sports, is a celebration. So like you mm. score a goal and you go like, one of my favorite sellies of all time, Alexander Ovechkin scored a sick goal. He dropped his stick on the ice, okay? And he went like this with his hands, like it's on fire. My stick's on fire. Nice. It was a pretty sick celebration. Nice. Uh, or sick selly. 
So it's like how you celebrate a goal. Gotcha. You some guys like jump into the glass in football, like when they jump up into the crowd at Lambo. Yeah. That's like a celly. Yeah, that that, that's just like a, that, that, your, your celly was regular. It was, that was a regular celly. You, know? you come up, be, be more creative. But I got yeah, you. yeah. Like Big you're. Heat. I mean, it's not a celly because you do it before the match. But you're. What do you call that thing that you do? Well, I don't have a name for it yet, but uh, <gasps> I just, I just go. You, you don't know? have a name? No, but my celly's lit though, right? Your celly is lit. It's yeah. like a pre-match celly. Yeah. And then yeah. do you do it if you win after too? Yeah, I do, I do, you I do, do. I do. Yeah, You're like, my, let me think about my last win. My celly, yeah. Top cheese. Top cheese. Extra cheese, when y'all go to concession stand. <laughs> <laughs> Stop thinking about it so literally. <laughs> I mean, top cheese. You got, you got a concession, all right, top cheese. Uh, boom, first person to touch the puck when he drops it. Ugh. No. Wrong. Top cheese, so if somebody puts it top cheese, they're putting it top shelf. Do you know what top shelf is in hockey? Uh, no, it's top shelf. <laughs> it's like it's top the shelf, top, mom. top, top of the net. So if they shoot at top corner, it's like top shelf. Word. Or if someone says backhand shelf, it's like they shot it on their backhand Back. and it went top. top shelf. Okay, like it's like you could do it. I, I know. You're doing like the right. Yeah. If you had a stick, like you look like you could I do would. a backhand. I go backhand to the top shelf to the right side of the top corner of the goal. I don't know if you used it properly, but all right. That's the end of the game. Okay, for the WWE universe that is tuned into this interview, I'd be remiss if I did not actually act like a journalist and ask you some WWE questions, especially because we are on the road to WrestleMania. So, weeks away from WrestleMania, you're on your own. You've been on your own on this solo journey, if you will. Mm -hmm. Where are you at confidence-wise? Confidence-wise, Jackie O, at an at a, at a all-time high that I've ever been. I wow. Feel it. I feel it every time I walk out there. I feel the WWE universe behind you, boy. You know? Uh and and I just I just I just it's just me now, Luce. Obviously you and Jimmy in better years were an amazing tag team, right? Mm -hmm. One of the best ever, maybe the best ever. But have you ever felt this much love truly from the WWE universe? No. No, really, never, and they, and they and they and it makes it real special because like they finally know like hey man that's Jay right there that one's Jay, that one's Jimmy, you know Yeet, no Yeet. Has the WWE universe seen the best of you yet? WWE universe ain't seen the best of Jay Uso yet, man. I'm just getting warmed up, Jackie O. What? What? I'm just getting warmed up, Us. I mean the the, the we the sparking it off right here. The fact okay? that that Jimmy Uso in some people's minds, may have cost you the Intercontinental Championship a few weeks ago. Where are you at with that now? And does are you concerned about it at all? Do you think that they will stop you every time you try to accomplish something on your own? I, 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 I do, Jack. I ain't never said it out loud, but I do. I feel like he's always watching me. The, the whole family's always watching me because I'm supposed to be with the family. But uh, guess what? You're allowed to go out there and get it on your own if you feel like you have to, Oos. You're, you're allowed to go out there and chase your own dreams, Oos, you know? Uh, me and Jimmy going cross paths either before or at WrestleMania for show. Well, it's be hard to avoid each other, right? The whole WWE universe in one place. Man, my mama keeps telling us to kiss and make up, y'all brothers, really? man. I'd be like, stop, my stop. All right, he started it. He started it. Like your kids again. You know? Do you have like a group chat that you just keep leaving? I, I, you know, I, you exit the group chat. I exit Jimmy. I exit Jimmy. And oh, solo. you kick him out. <laughs> and solo. Solo ain't solo solo's messages be green. He ain't got no iPhone. What do you make of what's gone on recently with, with your family, the bloodline? Even though you're not with them, I mean now the rock is involved. Cody it has crossed paths with them and is is right in there. You know, he's like the bane of their existence right now, but he's become a friend to you. Yeah. So what is your perspective on, on what's going on? Man, I'd just be like, look at these fools. Like, I'm so glad I'm not in that no more. But like, man, Cody, bro, if you need help, man, I got you, bro. Call on me. If anybody know how they get down, it's, it's me. But I'm telling you, bro, we need more soldiers, Cody. We need more soldiers if we're gonna go against the bloodline, Oos. I'm telling you, bro. This is what they do all the time. We need about six, seven more, okay? Hypothetical. You're in some sort of situation where it's the family or Cody, and you have to choose. 
to put me on a spot like that. How di how di let me ask you this. Instead of telling me what you would choose, how difficult would that choice be for you? I mean, 100% I would choose Cody. Okay. They, already, they beat me up. They beat me up. They kicked me out. I mean, why would I want to, you know what I'm saying? Man, Cody show love, man. Last question. If you went back and told Jay Uso five years ago, you are going to be at odds with your brother, most importantly, and the rest of your family, and succeeding in the way that you are mm. with the fans. I probably would have laughed in your face, Jackie. Because it would never would have crossed my mind for me to ever, ever separate from Jimmy. Because coming in wrestling, we wanted to be the best wrestling team like in the game ever. Like I always wanted to be like, why can't we stay together and still have a, a world championship, you know, still being yeah, together? Yeah, why not? Why not? So that, that never crossed my mind. But man, to see us how we are today, I'm so glad it did happen. <laughs> I'm so glad it happened. So as long as he's with Roman, as you and him can never have a relationship. No, man. No, no. Roman know this. Uh, my brothers know this. But as long as uh, Tribal Chief got his finger on Jimmy and Solo, it's never going to happen. So just come this way. Y'all just come to Monday, man. Come on. Get out of that you, you, toxic environment. Y'all see what it is over here? It, it's fun over here. Huh, Jack? <laughs> you know what? It is. They're really serious all the time. Yeah, man. It's take too it. serious. Y'all just take it easy over there, man. The fun is over here. He's not wrong. They say yeet on them if you can't see that. They scream fun, Oos. Come on. These Jackies, these Jackies glasses, though. They are. I do get to keep those, right? Yeet. All right, Jay, once we get through the most important time of the year in WWE, we got to get you to a hockey game. Please, Jackie, take me. Please. You <laughs> take me? I'll take you. Word. Yeah. We'll get you to a game, and we'll get your real thoughts. I appreciate you. We appreciate you, Jackie Oos. You know there's only one way to end this, right? End it. Yeah, you. Have to Yeet. Yeah, there you go. Yeet. All right, big thank you to WWE superstar Jay Uso, who has never been to a live hockey game, Gary. He was asking me in that interview to get him to a game. So can we make this happen? Let's do it. Yeah, I think we need to get the Yeet Master to an NHL game. The what master? The Yeet Master. Do you know what Yeet means? It sounds like a very exciting term. It is. It is It is very, very popular in the WWE universe. It is a term of enthusiasm, excitement, if you will. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. If, if he were to go to a hockey game, there would be a lot of yeeting happening, I think, yeah. when goals were scored and all of that stuff. Okay. Obviously, I am joined by NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman for the latest installment of Catching Up with the Commission. It has been a minute since we've done this, though. But it's very yeeting. <laughs> it's, I, listen, yeet uh, is appropriate here. I'm very excited to catch up with you because so much has happened since the last time that we were able to chat, including a very successful back-to-back -back stadium series. Uh, what it, did you expect it to go over as big as it did? We believe that this area, New York, New Jersey, Long Island, Philadelphia, great hockey markets, mm -hmm. great fans, and we thought it was a little daring to put on two games <laughs> in 24 hours, but the response with 150,000 fans was almost overwhelming, and it was great to see. It was great for hockey. Oh my gosh, I was I was genuinely jealous that I wasn't there. I was like, man, how how did I not make sure that I how could be there? How did you miss it? I don't know, Gary. I you know, every once in a while I do mess up. <laughs> if you needed a ticket, you could have called. Whoa, be careful, because now I'm going to be bothering you all the time uh, for tickets to big games and events. But it looked like a huge success. Even people watching at home, I thought, were very involved and engaged online. And, and fans, you know, our outdoor games. I guess it was 40 and 41 in terms of the number of outdoor games our fans in person can't get enough of these yeah and it was great for the four franchises that participated whether or not they won or lost because their fans really connected with the game in a very special way yeah just one of those things that creates I think long-lasting memories for the yeah. people that are that are in attendance but also the guys that are are playing in the actual game as well um, and next year we have a couple of really big venues for the outdoor yeah. games well, Wrigley well that's not a big one physically in terms of but <laughs> right. historically it's big big in the in the big picture yes. sense I suppose but Wrigley for the Winter Classic and then Ohio State uh, for an outdoor game as well how did those two come to be in and, and I guess which one was more difficult to make happen the uh, we had played in Wrigley before 
Okay, and true. We, th we thought it was time to go back to Chicago uh, with another game. The, the team's prospects are very good and exciting, particularly with Connor Bedard. And so as their fan base is re-emerging and getting re-engaged, we thought that would be fun. And coming off 150,000 people in 24 hours here, <laughs> oh, why not go to a place that can seat 100,000 people in one sitting? Uh, a little more challenging because we needed to have some work done in terms of winterizing the Ohio Stadium, okay. also known as the Horseshoe. Uh, but we think both events are going to be spectacular and the venues are going to be great. Yeah, the reaction has been sensational. No surprise there. Connor Bedard making the announcement on the NHL on TNT in a very nice jacket, by the way. But every time I see this guy on television, whether it's in an interview on the national stage, doing an announcement like that by himself in an empty ballpark, he is so comfortable on camera. I think he is going to be, I mean, he's obviously a great player for the game. He's a teenager. I, it's, and, it's wild, right? It's great. Uh, he's a generational player, but we've been quite fortunate when you look at all the young players that have come into the league recently, Connor McDavid, Austin Matthews, and the list goes on and on and on. And I think roughly half of our leading scores are under or 25 or under. Uh, it, it, it's just showing how vibrant the game is. Yeah, for someone who, who loves seeing personality, obviously, in, in all interviews and players and people involved in the game, I just love seeing that someone that young and that good uh, on the ice being that comfortable in his own skin, I think, uh, is probably part of what makes him so good at what he does because he is just, it seems like nothing phases Connor Bedard. Although you can also look at the Hughes brothers. I yes, mean, great example. Okay, and, and there's one family of pretty mature young hockey players <laughs> yeah. who are making an impact as well. Yeah, it still blows my mind that you could have three of your kids all make the NHL and be such impactful players. But uh, it's got to be a fun time to be a member of the Hughes household you would think so. in the group chats. Um, all right, so I had an idea coming into this interview because we do all of the, we see all of these like day in the life of players and behind the scenes at games and different things. What is a typical day for Gary Bettman? Like you wake up, you get ready for a, a normal day as the NHL's commissioner. How do you prepare for the day? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, every day is a little bit different. My day consists of meetings, phone calls, reading things to, to get up to speed on either an area that I need to be more familiar with or something that we're planning on doing. Uh, but no day follows a particular script and there's a fair amount of travel. I mean, yesterday, for example, I went back and forth to Winnipeg and had lots and lots of meetings and opportunities to interact with fans and sponsors and the people that work at the Jets. So there, there is no typical day and, and okay. if you ask, the people who work with me, and particularly those that travel with me, they would probably tell you the same thing. How are you as a traveler? Oh, I'm easy. <laughs> I, you know, okay. I, I mean, I, I, I don't need a lot of sleep, and if, okay. I, if I need, you know, on a long plane flight, I can fall asleep. You can asleep. sleep on a plane? Oh, easily. Uh, although last night, I was watching a movie coming back to, after a very long day, and we landed about two in the morning, and I watched the movie all the way back. What movie? Uh, Boys in the Boat. Okay, I it, haven't even heard of it. What is it about? It's about a, the University of Washington uh, rowing team okay. in the 1930s that went to the 1936 Olympics. Okay, and did you like it? Uh, I like the book better. The movie was very nice, but I like the book better. The book is usually better, yeah. right? Well, not always. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, fair enough. I'll have to check out the book and the movie so I can see if I agree with yeah. you. But what about like before you come into the office? Are yeah. you a coffee guy? Do you yeah. eat breakfast? Do you skip breakfast? Do you meditate? Like, what does Gary Bettman do if, in the morning? If, if, if I'm not uh, too tired and I've gotten a decent amount of sleep, I'll work out a little bit. Okay. Uh, I don't typically eat breakfast. Uh, I try to use decaffeinated coffee because okay. I think the people who are around me would prefer that I not be any more high strung with caffeine. <laughs> and, and again, there's no typical day. Some days I eat lunch, some days I don't. I just go with the flow. 
So you just lean into flowing yeah. with whatever the flowing universe the has, in, yeah. has in yes. store. Yeah. Do you ever eat cereal? Uh, Are you a cereal guy? What kind yeah. of cereal would Gary Bettman choose off the shelf? Grape nuts. Grape nuts. Yes. Okay, you know what? Actually, my husband recently put me on to grape nut ice cream, which I had Ooh. never. You don't that's like grape nut, nut ice cream? That sounds. If I'm having ice cream, <laughs> give give me a blizzard. Oh, wait, at well, DQ. What, kind of, what kind of blizzard? I worked at DQ. It was my first job. Did you really? I did. Yeah. Uh, what's it, the one that's all chocolate? It's got. Chocolate, oh, like the chocolate it, brownie yeah. yes. explosion or yeah, whatever? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that, yeah, I mean, listen, I remember some things from that gig. Uh, I'm a peanut butter cup girl myself. Wow. You see, I only like peanut butter by itself. You know, a piece of bread or on a roll or a bagel. I don't like peanut butter in other things. You don't like it mixed with your chocolate? No, I don't. Whoa. Chocolate is chocolate. That's a hot take, Gary. I'm not going to yeah. lie. I think that's a, that's this, a hot is this take. this TMI? No, it's not TMI. I think it's great. Although I completely disagree with you. I think peanut butter belongs well, everywhere. Then I'm not sure how much longer we can have this conversation. <laughs> oh, I can stretch a conversation about peanut butter out longer than you can imagine. I do feel that way about mint, though. I don't want mint in my candy. Like, that's like, get no, your. Get I agree your, with that. Get your dentistry but out of my candy. That's. Uh, chocolate should be left alone. Okay, I can maybe get on board with that, even though what I. What kind of candy bars do you like? So peanut butter cups. Milky Ways. Okay, yeah. See, we're just different yeah, chocolate yeah. people. That's yeah, all. I okay. like salted caramels. Do you like salted caramel? Uh, all right. Once in a while. <laughs> so you and I are I'm not a, aligned I'm on a dessert. Purist. You, you, I am getting that sense, actually. <laughs> I am. Okay. Um, okay, I got one more question for you, and then we'll let you uh, get about the rest of your day. When something happens on any given night in the NHL, whether it's a, a crazy play or a controversial call, just anything. It doesn't even have to be controversial. Just anything that people... Out of people, the ordinary. Yeah, anything out of the ordinary that people are talking about. I generally know about it in real time, either because I'm watching or I get a phone call from Hockey Ops. Well, my question was going to be, what's the over-under on amount of either texts or phone calls that Gary will get in those moments? Generally, the phone. I, I prefer the phone and probably... Not a texter. Well, I text, but in terms of dealing with issues, better in real better time to, to be on the phone. Okay. But that may be because I'm older and that's kind of old school. It is, but I, I respect it, though, because I think phone conversations, right. they lend themselves to, for lack of a better way to put it, more serious conversations. And there's, there's a more completeness about it. You get tone, you get intonation. Yeah. You know, and, and it's more reactive. You can get lost in, in, in text messages. Like, I And over... then with auto spell check, you could wind up with something <laughs> that doesn't even look yeah. like what it's supposed to look like. I overuse emojis because uh, I never want people to think I'm being short with them. Because sometimes I'm busy and it's like, okay, cool. Or, okay. I but use if you emojis. Just... Do you? Occasionally. What's your yeah. most used emoji? A smiler or a thumbs up. You like the thumbs yeah. up? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Or with a smile. With a smile. Okay. Yeah. Those are those are classics. Yeah. Although sometimes the thumbs up emoji can be taken the wrong way too. Really? Well, as people think, some people, some younger people think that if you just do the thumbs up, you're being like sarcastic. Really? Like, okay. Mm. But I know that you don't mean it that way. No. You I mean would, it as the traditional like, like. It's okay. It's awesome. It's great. Right. Good. Well, or it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's yeet, maybe, or it's on its way to yeet, perhaps? Well, you know, I, yeet is a new concept for me. I'm going to have to process it a little more. Yeah. You, you, look up Jey Uso yeah. and, and yeet, I and you'll see, uh, you'll see how over that term is uh, over in the wrestling world. Gary, it's been an absolute pleasure. I always love chatting with you, and I learned something brand new about you today. Peanut butter, chocolate, keep them separate. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, that does it for this edition of the Jackie Redmond Show. Uh, hit me up on Twitter. Let me know what you thought of our guests. Big shout out to Jay Uso as well as Kat Tafoli for stopping by, and of course, the commissioner himself. We'll see you next week. <laughs>